Vaginal birth after multiple cesareans, specifically vaginal birth after three cesareans. How dangerous really is it? So I saw this inside of another mom group where someone's saying, well, I can't understand why you wouldn't have a C-section because it's so dangerous to have a vaginal birth after three C-sections. Mm, no, it's actually not. In fact, there's a study on uh, vbacfacts.com where it actually says what the evidence is when it comes to the risk factors of a vaginal birth after three cesareans versus a repeat C-section. So you wanna know what it is. If you've had three previous C-sections, your uterine rupture rate is 1.2%. That's it. And that is based on a study that only had 241 participants in it. So that's not even a full study that doesn't even have very many people to go by. And this study was conducted in the hospital where they don't really support physiological birth. So again, 1.2%, not very high. But you know what it is to have a hysterectomy, what your risk is if you have a repeat C-section for the fourth time? 2.1%. So you have a higher chance of having a hysterectomy with a fourth C-section than you do having an actual uterine rupture for attempting a VBAC. You actually have about a 73 to 79% chance of success of having a vaginal birth after multiple cesareans. In fact, one of my friends, Wendy, had a vaginal birth after three cesareans. She was told she was too fat, too old, and she'd had pr previous C-sections and that she couldn't do it. And she proved them all wrong. That baby is now nine years old. So don't let anybody tell you that you can't have a vaginal birth after three cesareans. And if you want to know more about this, I did do a longer video on my YouTube channel, link in bio. Talk to you soon.